Good morning, guys. Welcome to my Monday morning rant for Monday, the 9th of May, 2022. So uh, that was another massive uh, eventful week for me, uh, sadly to a point where towards the end of it, uh, I got a little bit like, um, I just got a bit wobbly and uh, uh it's sad that my mum was the person who got to hear it too. Um, that little bit of the wobbly bipolar. Um, it's almost like a, a, a little kid that uh, is tired and just wants to go home and it just starts to get cranky. And uh, there was just... It just got to a point where they just felt like there was just too much going on every day and I just caught up with some rellos and the next day we were doing Mother's Day and I almost couldn't do it. Like I almost couldn't see uh, mum again and family again. It's like two days in a row was just uh, almost too much. And I, ex I sort of expressed it, which it came out, you know, and then... Uh, of course, mom didn't like hearing it at all because it is, it's fucking Mother's Day. You're not going to, you're not going to not show up to Mother's Day. And of course I'm not. I was just trying to say that it's just like, it's just, it, it would just, it just, it was just getting, it was just getting full on. And, uh, and I, I can't, I couldn't keep it up. Um, so yeah, uh, it was, it was, it was a big week. Um, I think it started with, uh, it sort of started at the end of the week, you know, like at the end of the week on on Friday, uh, I had the GTR towed and, you know, as much as I like to come across as like it's more, it's a bit of a good riddance thing that the car's gone. Of course, it's an emotional thing as well. Um, uh, there's a lot of me in that car and uh, a lot of experiences and, you know, it did define everything that I believed in and did at one point in my life. Um, but that in itself was a pretty interesting morning. The toe you rocked up with a flatbed. And my street is a super tight street. I mean, it's so tight that people fold their mirrors in, right? And uh, he just sat there in the middle of the road and looked at me. I was sitting on the driveway and he said, nah, man. This is impossible. And yeah, it, 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 it was the impossible toe to try to get the GTR from my uh, carport somehow onto a trailer. Uh, it was it was always going to be super... Deep. And my and my streets is uh, quite a steep hill as well. And um, he was told that the car started for some weird reason. Um you know, there was no way, there's no way that it was going to start. Uh, and he was just, he was just not willing to, to do this because it was the impossible toe. And, um, and I said, said to him, look, it's not really my problem. You know, like I sold the car and the, 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 the concept was that whoever buys it has to deal with getting it out of here. Um, but then I changed my tact and I just said to him, dude, can you can you can you at least try? Like like he's come out all this way, right? So at least try. And uh, he did. He gave it a go, and he f he freaking got it first go. Like he 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 went up the gutter completely, both sides, uh, and managed to make it work. And he literally got it perfectly too. Like as soon as he stopped, it, it was. The GTR was perfectly in line with the trailer. It was as easy as that. Uh, it's funny, you know, I just couldn't believe it. And uh, I was letting him know that too. I was like, holy crap, bro, you got to first go. And and his attitude changed completely from aggression to, yeah, man, you know, skills, mate. <laughs> and uh, it was a good vibe after that. So, um... Yeah, the weather was amazing. I just remember I did take a shot of the car going. I didn't want to, but I did. The sky was so beautiful. Uh, 
soon after that, I uh, hit the road and uh, drove out to the mountains to uh, spend the night with Viv out there. And it's it's like it was like a retreat, you know. It's autumn there. It's um super pretty. Um, we shot a little bit that day. We also shot the morning after. Uh, it autumn, like just orange leaves everywhere. And um, that was really nice. It's fucking cold out in the mountains, though. It's super cold. And uh, in the morning when I was getting back in my car to drive back to Sydney, um, the the windshield was lit- literally covered in ice. Like, my wipers couldn't take the ice off. I had to go out there and hit the window in order to... To, to shatter it so that the wind uh, windscreen wipers could actually start to push some of the ice off. So um, I thought that was pretty fucking impressive. Uh, like nature taking a real hold. Um, so while I have salt spray on my window in the mountains, you'd have ice. But yeah, I, you know, if you've asked again, like, why don't you move to the mountains? Mm. I... It's beautiful, but I don't think I could do it. I don't think I could. I don't think I could live with the cold. Like I don't think I could play the guitar in that kind of cold. My fingers were numb, you know. And I'm, I don't like the cold. And you know, it made me realize as well that I really do love the the ocean and the beach and the ocean. You know, I just love the ocean. Like the wind, the it's alive and. Uh, there's something about the ocean that has got, there's just so much energy. Uh, and the mountains was just at, at night, it was just so dark and so cold and so still. And in the morning it was still and, uh, yeah, I like hearing the ocean. I like hearing the waves crashing. I can hear it from my bedroom, you know, and, uh, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be really tough to give that up. So again, uh, as much as I've been thinking about selling the house and getting myself ready mentally for that, I, I just don't know if I could leave the ocean. Um, I think I've got it too good here. So, so yeah, that threw a spanner in the works. Um, anyway, the drive back was uh, the drive there and drive back was painful for me. It's just uh, I know it's only a two hour drive, but it's just that I get to a point on the highway where. I feel like I'm in um, one of those movie scenes where the the world has just dropped for the character and their their face is coming forward and the background's going backwards and it's got that trippy like I fit like when I'm on the highway for too long I just feel like I start to trip out. It's probably it's probably not safe for me to be, <laughs> to be driving long distances. Um anyway, so I caught up with um my cousin who's over from Indo, Rellos keep coming. And uh, he moved into my place when I think it was the 80s or so. And uh, it was the first time my sister and I had um, some Rellos stay with us uh, for quite a a long period of time because he was studying. He went to high school. He went to Ramic Boys. Um, He was a naughty kid and... Randwick Boys was a pretty rough school, so he got into a lot of fights, and I would say he was even in some sort of gang, because he used to have nunchuckers and go into the city and look for fights. I I think there was a lot of racism back then, because there was a whole lot of racism when I was growing up, and I think he copped even more, you know, and so I think he was just out there to beat white guys, go into the city with his mates, and go in and try to find, find fights. Um... He uh he came home once from school, and you could see the a bone sticking out of his knuckle, and we were like, "Holy fuck!" We sat him down, and turns out that bone wasn't his bone; it was someone's tooth wedged into his knuckle. Um, I'm pretty sure he got into drugs, and I used to hang out his room and. He had a, a shit ton of porn mags. I was way too young to be looking at porn. Um, and he would have uh, his mates over and they would box out the front, like literally 
punching the shit out of each other and out the back we had a pool so he at night time he would have like hot hot Aussie girls over and for parties and shit and he's the real OG man the real gangster and it's funny because um, my life before that I, I, I was such a little kid I was just brought up so squeaky clean and so good and then next minute you know your cousin comes over from Indo and influences you and I'm, I'm sure he had an influence on my life um always I always loved him and I still love him and it was just he's chilled out a shit ton of course but he's just like even when I saw him he 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 had a look at my tattoos and then he couldn't help but show his new tats and he's got the full body he's got the full body and legs uh Japanese style tattoos and he got them done hardcore Japanese style without a tattoo gun with the fucking tappy tappy needle and shit like he He's a fiery one, and he is, um, he's, he's the real deal. He's the OG. Uh, so it was good to catch up with him. It wasn't a huge, huge catch up because I got chucked on the kids' table as usual. But um, he seems to be doing well, and uh, I think I haven't seen him in 10, 10 years or so. And uh, brought up some, some memories, brought up some memories of growing up with him, and uh, he him and his um sister taught taught me and my sister how to speak indonesian so we did not know how to speak indonesian before they moved in with us and they taught us the dirty words first you know and <laughs> then we ended up learning indonesian like um i wouldn't say my indonesian's any good but what we did learn uh was thanks to thanks to him and and his sister so uh yeah good memories um but yeah, I'll 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 leave it at that. Um I'm really looking forward to a couple of days of of doing nothing much, hey. Like I I just feel uh, it's so weird. It's not burnout. Like it's it's just it's just there was just too much on too quickly. Um I know what it feels like. I know that feeling and I don't I don't like it. I don't I don't want to entertain um where it goes from here so i just need to chill the fuck out for a bit um i'm still on top of stuff i've got uh, all the photos that i took of anna and daisy they're all done and both anna and daisy love them and that's a relief because there were a whole lot of pussy shots like like legit just pussy shots and they have really beautiful pussies, like no doubt about it. <laughs> but it was still not easy work. It was not what I usually do. I don't usually do stuff so, it's almost so biological. Um, it's really hard to, it was really hard to make it arty. But I'm I'm glad they both are happy with the shots. Uh, and I'm sure some guys on my Patreon will be really happy with the shots too. Um, and I've been in uh, touch with a guy who wants me to shoot a model with a car and I'm not really a an, a car photographer, right? An automotive photographer. It's a different it's a different skill and it's a different feel to Photoshop shadows and reflections and shit out of cars, which I really wouldn't want to do. And uh but sort of made sure that he realizes that and I've got a particular grainy style that I like to do and mostly focus on the model and he did sort of say that he would love that but also would love it if I did focus on the car as well um so I'm a sort of 50 50 a foot in foot out but then he mentioned uh the model that he would like to shoot with and it's a girl that I've always wanted to shoot with actually so she's down and I think I'll reply back to his message and say I'm down I think I'm down. So, uh, that could be happening next weekend. Uh, I think it'll be challenging for me. But also super, super cool. I mean, you know, I know what angles a car looks good in, right? So, yeah. Uh, that's my week. Um, and this next week is going to be chill. I really do uh, think that I'm going to do not too much more than... Uh, cleaning up bits of the house and uh, um, 
a bit of gaming as well and uh and editing some photos that I took with Viv as well, which uh, the shoot went, r- we shot really cool shots in the mountains. Like I was doing the whole God rays thing. There was just such strong sunlight that I was shooting into the sun. And that always is a hit and miss, right? Because it's so strong. And some of the God rays are so strong that it just wipes out the whole image. But, I'm so sure that I got some really gorgeous photos that just uh, show Viv in uh, a diff the the light that she she is in at the moment in her life, and um, a lot of women recognize the goddess within, and Viv is someone who really has lately, and. Uh, yeah, we, we we captured that. We captured that and it just became the theme for the entire shoot. On both days, we just shot into the sun. Um, not sunlight, but into the sun. And yeah, I'm, lo- I'm actually looking forward to checking out what we took. Um, so I'll get onto that this week at some point. But yeah, so uh, I hope everyone has a good week. Apparently, it's meant to rain all week. I'm glad it's sunny right now. The sun's just popped out. Uh, I don't think my house can handle too much more rain. Uh, I need to get busy with uh, fixing up my deck out the back. It's a it's a huge mess, and I got started on it, but then it rained and I stopped. So, um, hopefully, a bit of a week for me to just potter around the house and and just uh, do some maintenance. So yeah, guys, um, have a good week, and I shall catch you guys in the next one. See you.